Hello everybody, Ouija here, and today I will be watching the new Ruby Show Ice Queen Gnome that just launched on Crunchyroll, first three episodes. So we will be taking a watch of that. Um, this is going to be the Japanese version because they don't have the English dub up yet. Uh, it should be fine, I'll just make sure the subtitles are available. Let's get started! It's gonna be weird watching the Japanese version because I've never heard the Japanese voices ever. My cat is also here because she decided she needs attention now of all times. Ooh, this looks... Oh, what's that? They discovered dust just sitting there underneath the stuff. Um, okay. The moon is broken because of the gods. Yes, Cleo. Hello. Alright, the dust is that's the reason why they're able to win. I thought I thought it was more the semblances. Like dust enhances, but semblances are kind of like help them win. And auras. I wonder who discovered aura. Like who 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 unlocked the aura first is like, oh shit, I can get stabbed and not die? Bitchin'. Leo, I can't see the subtitles because of you. Open the game. Some of the dust kindly I scatter. <laughs> oh, Ruby the Hungry Grades, I guess? I mean... Like, combat grades are just like... Okay. You gotta be smart too. You can't just be strong, I guess. It's weird here in the not the English voices. <laughs> oh, here comes Yang. Follow me. Oh, she got her aviators. This is right before the volume one opening. It's hard to talk and read at the same time. If I'm listening to it, it's easier to talk, but I gotta re focus on reading as well. Ah, yay, Weiss! Oh, is this where the volume six? No, she gotta have her scar, right? <gasps> no scar! No scar! This is pre volume one. This is, this is when the short takes place, I'm pretty sure. Right? We're going to get like a timeline establishment of when everything happened, I guess, in correlation to the first volume Ruby. It not happened before, you know, how much before though. Here's Klein. He looks much sadder in this one than he does in the 3D animation. Ah, uh, there's their drunk mother. Why is so much sadder in this one? Oh, here's Whitley. Little shit. Oh, she built a head through her chest, okay. It's weird hearing a female voice on Woodley, as they've always had a male voice, even in the teenage version, the English version. She ain't gonna watch you, he don't care about you. At this point, he gets better later. Hey, you talk about winter too. Klein was here for the test. Ah, so now we have a contradiction between this, this winter, this and the uh, manga. Which is more canon, this or the manga? Oh, that was I thought I saw. Yeah, that's Billy. Or I don't care. Yeah. Weird. Why is all the Shinies are just watching Vice fight this thing? What? This is weird. It's still a Grim though, that's cool. Uh, 
So we got it. Oh, yeah, Fergus. Do we see a switch between personalities? This is Doc, right? A Doc personality. You have a pocket watch? Is he going to be the White Rabbit? If this is anything like Alice in Wonderland? I just did a theory on this that I had to rush out in three days because uh, this came out earlier than I expected. And here is the Armagigas. Decidedly more, uh, less, uh, mangled looking than the manga version. I think it's fucking huge. Oh, I like you can see all the dust cartridges in it. All the co different colors. You can see some time dilation work here. Oh shit, I gotta make sure. Oh, that Weiss gets smacked around. Weiss always getting beaten up. Oh, that, oh, oh. This animation is really clean. I don't know if it has the same flair as the Ruby fights. A lot more After Effects. Oh, here's some fire. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's the sky. So wait. Was it, her aura's not depleted yet. There was no nothing to indicate her aura got shattered, so she just took the hit. I think they shortened the fight a little bit, but I guess I can everything in the one episode. Um, her aura wasn't shattered or anything, so she just decided to take the hit. Is that what happened? I like in the later season. Is this something that happened in the later season? I like maybe not season one or two, but I like the 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 the, the phasing it out of aura they do in the three D one. Gives you an indication of how much damage they take. Why the hell? Wait, what? She has purple hair. I know the alpha version had purple hair, but this person also has some purple in her. Okay, so the white trailer and the black trailer happen at the same time. Okay. So the watch only happened right before the start of the show then. I thought there was like some kind of thing between it. Like a year or something. I have a fun character to see in 3D if 2D animation because he's just he's got a really cool fighting style. That I hope they show their proper speed of. Wait, is her... Is her sheath bladed? I don't remember that. Oh. Oh! This is the... This is the, um... Volume 6 trailer. Your orca, your orca could take way more than two direct hits. What is that? What? what? Is that something? We've seen people get hit a shit ton of times. Or is Weiss Laura just weak for some reason? Ah, <laughs> uh, now we're gonna see the dope uh, deflection and up the sword. Oh, there it is. There's the, there's the sword run. Ah, climb. This is pretty dangerous to do with so many people around. Especially people that aura like Jacques, Klein, and uh, Whitley. Here it is. The throw. The lock. Here we go. Yes. Yep. And dead. Wait, no, she creates one, then goes down, doesn't she? Uh, this is it. Actually, it's a pretty good recreation of the, the volume together. What was that? What was that? There was writing on her blade? Huh? She didn't confuse it with dust. I didn't see that. What was that? Oh, you can see the scar. Mistress Weiss. <laughs> Sorry. That's... Oh, what was that writing? 
Like, look. She infused her glyphs into her blade? Huh. Interesting. So is this gonna be... I'm curious how the cannon's gonna work. Because now we have three separate... Three separate... Uh, tellings of this fight battle. We have the original from the white trailer ages ago, which I guess should be the canon one. It was just her. We had the manga where it was... A C it was Jacques and a CEO. Now you have this one where all the Schnee family was watching her. I wonder which one's gonna be considered canon. Or are they all canon? Just different canons? Also, what the hell? What is that? What? What? What was that? She used like a little <laughs> I'm sorry, that was kind of ridiculous. I I know she can throw it with a gun, but she clicks it and then throws it and it goes off. Not she like <laughs> Like with like like a, I don't know, a gun connected to a fucking little blade thing. They aren't violence like us. Racism, understandable racism, but racism nonetheless. Wait, weren't they? Wait. Wait, where was the giant robot fight? We did get to see the dope giant robot fight where he goes and like one, one taps that giant thing. Aw, that sucks. That was the coolest part of Blake's trailer. I guess that's that. Oh, I'm not gonna chase after her, so Adam doesn't care. We're getting a different Adam in this too. That'd be interesting. Hey, now we get volume one, uh, first episode introduction. So yeah, they're really close together. Why gets her scarf right before she goes to begin then? Huh. He's mad. Wait, is that Black Rock Shooter? I wonder if I'm gonna... Oh, I need to go back and catch, see these references. Maybe I'll do like a every reference in Ruby video. Wait, is that a horse? They have a horse symbol? It's like a guy on a horse. It might be a rooster. Uh, shut up, Keith. What have my rooster teeth? Uh... The finest of them all. Why? Are they, why is the oven and the finest so close together? It's like finest and of like so close. That's like a college application. That's cool. <laughs> so actually looks cuter in the three D one. He looks much less fat and plump in this one. Dang! Oh, hey, we get a reason for her being there now. Cool. She was kind of just there. We never got a reason for it. Oh, Taiyang. I'm. Thinking about splitting these up between three episodes, so I can three uploads. They have one giant hour long thing. That's a long time. But we'll see if it cuts off three episodes or it just rolls into them. Watch me! I wonder if he's gonna voice them in the English version because Grey Haddock isn't at Rooster Teeth anymore. I want Matthew Mercer to play him just because I love Matthew Mercer, but. It's nice to see Cordwick alive. He's been dead for so long. I just read the, the book. I'm down there. Bro, we're gonna get the, the masterpiece voice acting for this dude in the English version. Are you robbing me? Yeah! The line! There, so, uh, yeah. Torchwick looks so non pulsed by this. He's like, oh, okay. A huntress. Yeah, the kid's getting a weirder thing, doesn't make sense anymore with his backstory. He does buy Hunter in the series. He's beaten Hunters in fight, professional channel Hunters. Oh, I got the music. 
So Ruby would absolutely get her ass kicked by Torchwick in the one-on-one -on -one fight right here, because Torchwick has beaten fully trained huntsmen in fights. Oh, I I I love the semblance animation. Oh man. Oh, this is. Oh, oh, smoke bomb. We're gonna get Glinda. Glinda gonna show up soon. I don't know what's playing right now. It's the opening song. Oh, it's got. It's got a little hook shot. Oh, it's his thing, right? His thing shoots up. That's right. That's a, that was a cool detail. There's the hat Neo gave him. I'm oh, gonna see Neo in this. Ah, uh, you have to blind me too, guys. Come on. Wait. Huh. Oh. Oh, they're changing it. Well, there's Glenda. But where's... Where's Cinder? Huh. We don't see Cinder at all. Oh, there's Cinder. There's Cinder, but she didn't fire any shots. Maybe they're getting Torchic more involved in this? Like, as a threat? Huh. Oh, here's the symbol. I don't think we're ever actually... And... Police Station. Their club makes them look like the people from Full from, from Alchemist. You have the what's the what's the place called? Not Ishbal, it's the other place. Uh, I don't know what the place Full Alchemist, but that's what they kind of look like. Oh, we never actually saw Tang and Tang and Oz never interact. I hope we get more Adam and or Adam. Tai Yang in this. I like Tai Yang. I think it deserves more screen time. Well, I just had some cookies on then. You have silver eyes. They're keeping the important lines in here. Probably. She's not for sure in the in the in the, the original. Look at those scheming eyes. And here's how far into this are we? Because we gotta go, if we're gonna cover all volume one in one episode, we gotta get through all the Emerald Forest stuff. Weiss's complications with her uh Ah, yay. Even just a little bit. A little bit more tying. It's still great. And here comes Blake. How did Blake get accepted in the beginning? I don't know. It never really explains. Just kind of showed up. She just kind of applied and like, yeah, you don't have any, uh, bullying or anything. But you're good to go. <laughs> well, off Weiss goes. So Winter was there when she left. Clyde. Never see her white. Off. 
Mr. Scar. It's scarred real fast. It's not even a scab, it's a scar. Ooh! <gasps> the grandfather! Nicholas? Oh, y'all mentioned the Nicholas! Little Saint Nick, Mr. Santa Claus. Carry on his legacy. That's what Weiss wanted to do in volume one through three. I don't know if she still wants that. I'm sure she does, but. Airships. This is the one. Oh, we have to see Sean soon. Still their basic ass weapons. I'm kind of disappointed they didn't go with Shadow People, like in the original volumes one, two, three. Or is it just volume one? Oh, here comes Weiss. Go right past Blake. She likes her scar. Oh, that's cute. Yes, accept her scars, Weiss. I'm proud of you. Ah, <laughs> good father, Tayang. I'm gonna say, oh, they use papa. That's strange. Japanese. Look at the Chinese version. The, ch the character that's Chinese based said papa. Xiao Long. <laughs> Alright. This is why it just isn't as cute in this as he is in the actual, in the 3D version. This is Salem. Hey! Hey! Peter, Ren, Nora! John. They're really emphasizing that purple and black. And I, I, I don't know. I kind of like it. I kind of like the purple and black. Sweet vibe. Oh, we got. Oh, we got counter marriage from Osman and Salem. That's that's really cool. Are we gonna see Salem in this at all? Cause I mean, if they go past volume three, we could. But if they're going to tell the original story, I don't know if pushing past Salem was... I don't know. Oh, I was, I was surprised Weiss took a public transportation there. I kind of figured she'd take like a, like a private flight. Ah, at least a lavender. Are we going to like a solid focus on Weiss now that we've seen all of them? Kind of like in the original show all of them, then we got Ruby focus. Oh, so she knew beforehand. That's cool. Oh, no. Nailed that voice. Oh, I spent all of them. Oh, cool. Fear. Starstruck. That girl. Bro, she Googled them. She. She just Googled Fear. <laughs> that is. That is like the most perfect thing. Also, very wise. It shows that she's two years younger. I don't, she's not as skilled as Weiss, Blake, or Yang. She is, a. Uh... <laughs> is she gonna abandon them? No, no friends. Just each other. <laughs> oh, Chubbs do. It's where it starts. Okay, cool. Um... So, okay, this is a good stopping point, at least. So I can talk about the first chapter, which is... They changed Weiss's fight for a second time? Third time. No, for a second time. Because originally, in the first, in the trailer that came out... Like, 10 years ago now? 10 years? No, like 8, eight years like eight years ago. 8 or 9. I think. I don't remember exactly when it came out. Uh, it's just Weiss fighting by herself. It's flashing, so you can't really tell, but still, it's by herself. And it wasn't really a grim at the time, I don't think... They didn't explain that yet. And then when the manga came out, it was Jacques and a, a higher up in the Schneeders Corporation testing Weiss again. It's similar, testing Weiss against uh, Armageddon against Grimm. It's more deformed looking, that one. There was no Winter and no Whitley and no Klein or anything. Now in this one, they have, it's all the Schneeders except the mothers uh, drinking in the garden, foyer, whatever. 
observing this test to see if Weiss can go to Beacon. So I wonder which one of these is the cannon. The Weiss fighter, oh, I guess the Weiss fighter on her own? Is it, was it her and a CEO in some underground lab thing? Because that's what it was in the manga. Or in this one where the Chinese kind of tested them. They have a few differences that I don't know if they're going to consider canon. Or if it's, it's just canon adjacent. So it's not necessarily canon, but it's not non-canon, which is kind of what they've done with everything that's not the main show, the mangas, the comic books, not the ones with these characters that are obviously not canon, and all the side stuff. We got references to Nicholas Schnee, so I hope maybe we get to hear more about him in this season. This is more, or this show, it's more focused on Weiss, so we might get that. Um, what else, what other differences are there? Oh, we got finally got a timeline on when these trailers happen. They happened literally days before they went to Beacon. Weiss's thing, Blake's things happened at the same time. Yang's thing appears to be, we didn't see it, so it was probably a few months before everything else happened. And then the timeline goes Yang's trailer, Weiss, Blake's, Ruby's show. I don't think you can see my hands. So it goes Weiss's, Yang's trailer, Weiss and Blake's in the same time, and then right after that, Ruby's trailer, and then the Beacon arc starts. Uh, the animation this is looking phenomenal. The fight scene with Yang looked, or Ruby looked great. I don't know how I feel Weiss's. It looks a little less fast and fluid as it did in the 3D one. A little, well, a little less skating, because it kind of looked like ice skating in that one. There's not so much this one, but still, it looks really, really good. What is that guy? That guy is a 40-year-old man. Why is he going to Beacon? What the hell? He is Jack, though. He's fucking Jack. Uh, sorry, that was off topic. So that was a really good first episode. Um, I guess that's, if you like to do, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Uh, this is uh, Future Ouija Talking. Uh, if you like this video, I will be having a review coming out for this episode on Friday, and then for subsequent weeks, reviews for the following two episodes as well, as well as the reactions to them as they go. Again, thank you for watching. Ouija out.